Hello, hero. Welcome to One Fab Pack, where we open one pack of flesh and blood. Kid tested, mother approved. Well, not kid tested, apparently. Anyway, got a pack of Everfest. Because any day is a good day to have a party. Well, oh well, yeah, you could have we already had a funeral. I think they call it a wake. Anyway, Everfest, let's go. Bye. All right, starting up. Starting up. There we go. Seismic Stir. Yellow level. Two pitch, two cost. And three defense, guardian action. Let's see if I can move this a little closer here. There we go. That's perfect. And I didn't kill the photo this time. Hooray! All right. Seismic stir. Create two seismic stir tokens. Seismic surge tokens. And go again. Good old guardian action. Macho grande. Wasn't that the Taco Bell item at one point in time? Anyway. It is three cups. Three pitch, seven cost, yellow level, eight damage, three defense, guardian attack, guardian action, attack, with dominate. The defending hero can't defend Macho Grande with more than one card from their hand. Because that's the point. <laughs> but, nice. Alright. Twin Twisters. Red level, one pitch, one cost. Three damage, two defense, ninja action. Attack. Choose one. And only one. <clears throat> Don't get greedy. Twin Twisters gains when this hits. Your next attack, this combo chain, gains plus one damage. Or Twin Twisters gets gains plus one damage. And go again. Spectral Shield. Illusionist Token Aura. That is actually a pretty good looking shield. That is... That is, I like that. That is very intricate. Auras stay in the arena until they are destroyed. If your hero be dealt damage, instead destroy Spectral Shield and prevent one damage that source would deal. Pretty good illusion. Payload. Oh, that is, that is a big ass payload. Uh, it's blue level. Three to, uh, three pitch, two cost. 4 damage, 3 defense, Mechanologist action. If you have boosted this combat chain, Payload gains Dominate. Can't be defended with more than one card. And I think, honestly, you know, I, get, I love the uh, artwork. Like, in general, I like the fact that each class has its own frame when it comes to uh, you know, card. I mean, you know, magic is like five, six, seven, eight colors now. Well, mm, several colors, but still, it's like, you know, the black spe all black spells look the same. Don't. Uh, you know, all white spells are the same. All green, red. It's like, there's no variation. You know, a spell that drains life is going to is gonna have the same border as a spell that summons a zombie when it comes to black. Or one that gains life and also destroys a target enchantment is going to have the same white color border. So, and I know the main thing of Flesh and Blood is you build a deck based on a character. Which is, you know, I like that. Because, um... Well, it, uh, World of Warcraft card game, back in the day, pre-Hearthstone, was the same way. Uh, anyway, enough of my, enough of my yakking. Let's get back to the cards. Zoom in, red level, one pitch, two cost, five damage, three defense, mechanologist action. When you attack with zoom in, opt X, where X is the number of times you have boosted this combat chain, and boost. If there's no Scotch play zoom in, you may banish the top card of your deck. 
If it's a Mechanologist card, zoom in, gains, go again. That's a pretty good boost. Pyroglyphic Protection. Yellow level, two pitch, two cost. It is a wizard action aura with two defense. If your hero will be dealt arcane damage, prevent two arcane damage that source would deal. At the beginning of your action phase, destroy pyroglyphic protection. There you go. Oh, we got the foil of Shrill of Skull Form. I know I have the non-foil version, I just can't remember which level it is. Anyway, this one's red level. One pitch, two cost, four damage, three defense, rune blade action. If you have played or created an aura this turn, Shrill of Skull Form gains plus three, def plus three damage. Life of the party. Hooray. Looks like everyone's the life of the party on that one. I think I might have this card too. I don't know. Anyway, yellow level. Two pitch, two cost. Three damage, two defense, generic action. Which means anyone can be the life of the party. Hooray. Uh, you may discard or destroy a card in your co control named Crazy Brew. Rather than pay life of the party's activation cost. Energy cost. God damn. Something. Pay the cost. If you do, choose all modes. Otherwise, choose one at random. Life of the party gains when this hits, you gain, gain life 2. Life of the party gains plus 2 damage. Life of the party gains go again. Vexing Quill Hand. Ooh. That's a, ooh, that is, that's some nasty stuff going on there. Look at that. That's some Rune Blade uh, body horror going on. It is Rune Blade Equipment, Arms, Zero Defense, but Action, Destroy Vexing Quill Hand, Create Two Rune Chant Tokens, and Go Again. Arc, it also has Arcane Barrier 1. If your hero will be dealt Arcane Damage, you may pay one instead. If you do, prevent one Arcane Damage that source would deal. So, that is uh, Everfet, Ever... Everfest. I keep wanting to call it EverQuest. And if you've been a gamer for any amount of time, you probably know why. Which, I've never actually played EverQuest. Uh, well, I take that back. There was a PS2 Diablo-like hack and slash uh, called Champions of EverQuest. Champions of Noroth. Which was in the EverQuest universe. And I played... I played the hell out of that game, because, damn, it was fun. Uh, I still do. I still play it. I still have it. So I have a PS2, too. But, um, yeah, so that, that that's the extent of my EverQuest uh, thing. Introduction. That's, that's as far as I've gotten. I don't do MMOs. I, I don't know. When I, if I'm going to play a game with other people, it's going to be a card game. Or a board game. Or something where you actually play physically with people. Or couch co-op. Always fun with couch co-op. Anyway. See what I would play. Uh, I do like this. So I would play that. Uh, if I could hunt... Uh, not just hunt down. I could probably just buy one offline. But get crazy brew. I'd definitely play a couple of these. Cause like I said, I think I have one. Um... I do like that. Plus three damage if you create an aura, so I would definitely be something like end of end of combat chain to play for that would be pretty cool. Um Yeah. Prevent damage. Always love to prevent damage. So Um Yeah, I'd play that. Like I said, Optex, if you boost. The more you boost, the more you goose. That make no goddamn sense. What the uh it's been a day, and I am not making any sense. Not that I've had to begin with, but... Uh, is this thing been out of focus the entire goddamn time? I, uh, anyway, payload. Um, yeah, I'd play... Like I said, that would be good to combo with that. Boost it, so... Uh, always good to prevent damage, so that would be good to do. Um... 
Maybe. I mean, if it's like the if it's like the first one in a thing, if I don't like if I don't have any other cards, I would do like just this one to gain one. But if I was starting a chain with it, then you know, yeah, I probably would. Um, I mean, it's seven cost, but you're doing eight damage, and they can only use one card to dominate, so that it's one card to block. So I might do that. Plus, that's some pretty cool art. Guy being macho. Um, create two Seismic Surge tokens and go again. Yeah. It's always fun to create some tokens. So I'd probably do that. Uh, that is Everfest, Flesh and Blood. Uh, I'm going to drink some more coffee, so I'll be hyper for the next, like, 72 hours for some odd reason uh either way i will see you tomorrow and have a fabulous day